Welcome to my teaching lab. This is Dental Education Laboratories, and uh, these are the replicas that we print to train dentists in our lab. I was asked to shoot this video to uh, talk a little bit about um, some of my experiences in education with uh, the use of 3D printed training replicas. Uh, this is a True Tooth training replica that is uh, printed five times its normal scale. It's a lower molar with mesial and distal roots and some pretty wild anatomy. 3D printing has changed everything in our world and more than most things, it changed how we teach dentists how to do root canals because for the first time we control the anatomy. The hardest part about teaching a dentist to do root canal treatment has always been what's inside that extracted tooth that they're using. Uh, it's opaque, it's microscopic, it's really complicated. Uh, so now we own the anatomy so everybody training in my lab is training in the same exact root structure, they have the same challenge. I have, uh, I have it chosen so that the root structure and the canal anatomy is uh, perfectly applicable to the teaching objective that I'm trying to share with them. And that makes it so much different. Before it was a random walk that required hundreds and hundreds of root canals to be treated before you had a sampling of the kind of anatomy that you might encounter in a root canal in a patient. Now we can do it in much less time because we control the anatomy and because you can do iterative training. Space travelers are trained in iterative fashion. Athletes are trained in iterative fashion. Um, airline pilots are trained on simulators in iterative fashion. And so now we can do it in dentistry and that's really exciting. It's very frustrating for dentists who have tried to make it around this curve and led to the canal um, to learn anything from it because they, in an extracted tooth, they don't have another opportunity. In the replica, they could do this 19 times, botch it every time, and then the final time actually figure out how to bend the file, sneak around there, and uh, suddenly become competent. And that will be a skill that stays with them, a skill that they own, not something they hope they get right the next time that random anatomy comes through their office or their uh, teaching environment. As an educator, I love to teach, and uh, this is the coolest thing I've ever used in teaching endodontic procedures. My latest project with 3D printing is uh, printing whole jaws that fit in articulators. And uh, we've all worked in typodonts. Typodonts are kind of idealized forms of uh, kind of an average of everybody's teeth, but not really like anybody's specific teeth. Um, this is the real anatomy. This is actually somebody I know very well. This is uh, the jaw and gum tissue and teeth of a guy named Tyler Gwynn, who is my print manager. Um, he has a class 3 bite, but really nice orthodontics, um, beautiful teeth, not a single filling. And uh, the ironic thing is Tyler is also my modeling manager, so he was the guy that uh, did the segmentation and modeling to print his own job. So I don't know, that's kind of a new thing in human history, printing your own job. Um, each of these objects is segmented to be different. There are 32 teeth here. Every one of them is separate. The canals inside them are exactly as his are. Uh, they are separate from the gum tissue. They're separate from the, the bony tissues, the trabecular bone. Uh, we even have segmented the periodontal ligaments separate from the tooth and the bone so that we can vary the softness of the ligament and uh, set, set these replicas up to do extraction exercises and bone grafting exercises and surgical exercises. In this case, you can see that we've removed two of the teeth. We've removed the premolar, first premolar, and the first molar. In the first premolar, we would probably remove this tooth. We wanted to teach an immediate implant procedure there. In the molar area, maybe this is uh, an area that we want to teach a socket graft or a, a PTFE graft. So we would reflect the gum, soft rubber gum tissue, put the bone graft material in there, tuck a PTFE membrane in, do the cross stitch, and have a great experience in doing bone grafting, setting ourselves up for an excellent uh, implant placement later. Or if Tyler has a low sinus space here, um, we can even do a sinus lift procedure. We have rubber-like uh, sinus membrane material up there and we can do a full sinus lift in practice mode without having the patient there. And now that we own the anatomy and can replicate it exactly as we want in its natural state, it's a whole different game. Thank you.